Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Nisha. If you guys are returning, welcome back. So in today's video, as you guys can see by the title, I'm going to be giving you guys my 20 and 21 week baby update. So if you guys are excited to hear about baby TJ, then stay tuned and let's get started. So today I am currently 22 weeks and three days. Can't believe it, but that's a whole nother topic. So we're going to start with my 20 week update. So I'm using two apps. I've deleted the bump app. I'm still using pregnancy plus because I love how realistic it looks. And then I'm using the, um, the Ovia pregnancy app. So per pregnancy plus at 20 weeks, baby is the size of a cantaloupe. Baby is measuring 10.51 inches and 12.70 ounces. This is what baby looks like at 20 weeks. Um, you can hear the heartbeat. So this is what baby looks like at 20 weeks. So at 20 weeks, congratulations guys. If you guys are along the journey with me, that means we are halfway through. Um, if I do go to 40 weeks pregnant, we're halfway through. Um, so 20 weeks is a huge deal because generally if you haven't already um, getting your anatomy scan or know the sex of the baby, this is when you generally will find out through the anatomy scan, which um, is generally at 20 weeks. And basically, you get an ultrasound and they check each part of the baby, meaning the heart, the liver, the kidneys, the spine, um, the head, the like everything. They check everything about the baby and they also let you know the gender. As you guys know, I did the maternity 21 um, test which let me know that the baby was a boy because they found a Y chromosome so that's basically what they do with the blood test they look for either the Y or the X chromosome which lets you know if you're having a boy or a girl um, but yeah so that's what generally happens at 20 weeks for me for 20 weeks so let me go to my notes um, baby is kicking like crazy TJ is very active if you guys don't know so we do have a name for him um, his initials are going to be TJB, so it's just easier to call him TJ. He's not going to be a junior because my husband's name is Tayari, and then my first son's name is Tamir. So people were asking, like, is TJ for Tay Jr.? And I'm like, no, 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 he's not a junior. Um, however, I call him TJ, so if we want to start referring to him as baby TJ until we announce his name. But yeah, so TJ has been kicking, like crazy he originally started kicking when I was like 16 weeks and six days it was actually my birthday and um ever since then I feel like he just all in my like belly button area it's like in the morning as soon as I get to school he starts kicking he's rumbling and kicking and I was telling my husband it feels like he's pulling his umbilical cord like in the middle area I'm like what the heck is going on here and then like at night when I'm you know ready to go go to sleep He's kicking again, so I asked the doctor about it at my most recent appointment, which was on Friday, a couple of days ago, and she was saying that because my belly has already expanded before the first time, those muscles there aren't as put together in a sense, so I, it's more sensitive is what she was saying. So I'm like, okay, because I was beginning to worry. I thought he was about to, like, in that area, I can feel when he kicks down in my vagina area, and then when he kicks up too high, and I just... I got nervous. So I was like, what's going on in there? So yeah. Um, also for week 20, um, we had already did our Amazon registry, which I'll leave that link below. But we also went and did a in-person registry at Bye Bye Baby, which um, I'll link the video up there. We kind of showed you guys a little bit of what we did. I didn't record my husband, but he was scanning so crazy. Like he was scanning everything, but my phone was dying. So it was just the worst. But um. Overall, the registry was amazing. I found the perfect double stroller that uh, I plan to use for both Tamir and TJ. So I'm excited about that. Um, it makes it feel way more real. Like when we were pregnant with Tamir, we registered at Target and we registered at Babies R Us. But you guys know Babies R Us is no longer in business. But I think they said Toys R Us is coming back like in December or something. So yeah. Anyways, so we did the registry. And then also week 20, I got sick. So I just remember coming home on like Sunday when we got out of church and I'm telling Tay that like my throat was like really dry and itchy. And before you knew it, I was sick, Hubs was sick, and Tamir was sick. Like we were all sick 
like that week. Um, this is like the third week, going on the third week, um, where like my nose is still stuffy. But every other than that, everything else feels pretty good. And I think it's because California's weather has been so indecisive. Um, we were like in the 80s. Where it felt like, okay, we can go to the beach. And then we had dropped down to like the 60, 70 range. And now we're like super windy. We on fire and everything. Um, the fire, when I say that, the fire doesn't is not um, directly near me. There's one like 30 minutes um, east of us. And then like maybe an hour or two west of us, like towards LA. So it's not affecting me directly, but... Um, I have had classes canceled and everything, which was kind of a blessing in disguise because being sick, I was like, I don't want to give it to anybody, you know, and it was just, uh. so on top of that, being sick while pregnant, horrible, all I could do was drink tea, um, with lemon, so I had like lemon tea, I squeezed fresh lemon in there, and then, um, I used a little bit of Vicks, like vapor rub, like on my chest, but that was about it, um, for Tay, I was giving him like, day quail and like you know he had the tea too and then like I was eating um chicken noodle soup and stuff but it just sucked because I was like I can't take anything like I was like I don't even know if you can take anything but I just I don't want to take my chances so um yeah 20 week was 20 weeks was interesting so 21 weeks is when I actually got my 20 week ultrasound done which I got it done last Wednesday um the ultrasound tech was aggressive you know like okay so when i got my first ever ultrasound for tamir she was like that ultrasound tech was like pushing really really hard so when i went to the 20 week ultrasound with tamir um it was a at a different location and the lady was like you know a lot of new techs push down hard and because they feel like they can't see the baby so when i went this time for my 20 week um she was pushing like super hard and i'm like one ma'am i got this ultrasound done at 13 weeks he was fine but two like you're hurting me and she's like, well, you keep moving. I'm like, well, you keep pushing in on, like, imagine somebody's pushing in on your abdomen, like, my, like, and then you have to drink all this water. So, I'm like, I got to pee. You're pushing down hard. It just was, ugh. But anyways, TJ was super active. Um, he had flipped on her right when she was trying to get, like, measure his spine and get a profile of him. And it was just a struggle. So, we had to, like, wait a couple more minutes. I had to go to the bathroom. I, like, turned. And everything and TJ just was not having it he was mad at her probably because I was mad at her too so yeah so anyways I got the ultrasound done um also at 21 weeks I'm still having these visit vivid crazy dreams y'all these dreams are wild from sex dreams to like dreams where I'm like waking up angry to dreams that like something's happening like a flood to like crazy like almost like some stuff you see in the movies like these dreams are crazy but i didn't tell you guys what the specs was for 21 weeks um for 21 weeks according to the pregnancy plus app it says that baby is 10.94 inches and 15.17 ounces um and then can you see yeah that's baby at 21 weeks um so yeah, um, also during, like I told you guys, I actually I also had an appointment. Maybe I should tell you guys about that at 22 weeks since that was the start of 22 weeks. I'll tell you guys about the appointment more um, next week. However, um, I have gained a total of eight pounds. So the first trimester, I pretty much stayed the same, like a pound off a pound, gain a pound, lose a pound. Um, however, from like 13 weeks to now at 22 weeks, I've gained eight pounds. So I don't know if that's bad or good. The doctor didn't really specify about the weight part. She's more concerned about my blood pressure, which that's a whole nother thing that we'll talk about then too. Um, but yeah, so I did do a poll. So um, quick thing, I'm at a thousand subbies, yay. Um, super exciting. Um, so I am starting to like kind of converse more on the community tab. So if you guys happen to see it, um, I did do a poll to see if I should do weekly updates or every two week updates. I kind of like the every two weeks. Um, unless there's something major going on in that week, then I'll probably kind of like, what the heck are these people doing? I'll kind of like remix it or what have you. But, um, yeah, so let me know if you guys haven't answered the poll, go ahead and go into the poll. It's in the little community tab. It's kind of like Facebook or Instagram. 
they have like a little community area so yeah so let me know what you guys think and let me give you guys a quick bump date <sighs> he is poking can y'all see him he is poking oh look at the baby look at the baby and then he was kicking so much too he was kicking so much too that um Tamir got to feel him so that was very exciting I don't know if he really knew what was going on because he was distracted watching TV so yeah so if you guys enjoyed this update make sure that you guys give me a huge thumbs up make sure that you guys subscribe to my channel it helps me a ton and I will see you guys on the next update peace I'm the